What is up everyone? So today's video I'm going to be showing you how to lock your crossfire at 150 Hertz. So with Betaflight 4.3 finally being into release candidate 6, there's a lot more people who are going to be jumping over to it and one of the greatest things about Betaflight 4.3 is the ability to select presets and that's not just for a tune, you could do your RC link presets so if you're running crossfire, ghost, tracer, any of them, they got a preset for that so it optimizes your settings for your RC link. So today I'm going to be showing you how to lock your crossfire because that's what I run and I just figured this out yesterday how to lock it. I kept thinking that you needed to get into the transmitter itself, well that's not how it works. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do that. For the crossfire RC link presets you have to have it locked to either 50 Hertz or 150 Hertz. Dynamic's not going to work with it. It'll just introduce some bad things to your RC link and it won't be stable. And you're not going to get the optimal settings. So you got to have it locked to one or the other. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do that and it's very simple. So if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that and like the video. It helps the channel out greatly so I can reach a wider audience to help other people out. So let's get into it. Alright, so first things first, you want to have a connection to your RX on your quad. And cool thing with this Crossfire receiver is that it gets power just from the USB. So you'll see that. See that little red light right here? That's my receiver. I'm all plugged in. You're going to want to turn in your trans transmitter. And you're going to want to navigate to your Crossfire Lewis script. So I'm using TBS Agent Lite. You're going to want to go to your Nano RX. You want to go to General. And you'll see right here in your RF profile you got the option to do 50 Hertz, Dynamic, or 150 Hertz. Uh, so you don't want to do Dynamic because that's going to change whenever Crossfire feels it's necessary to switch it between 50 and 150. So we're going to lock Crossfire at 150 Hertz. And that's all there is to it. I kept trying to find it in the transmitter. So I'll go back to TBS Agent Lite. You'll see that. So I was trying to find it in the Micro TX and I tried even connecting it to Agent X on the computer and that is not how you find it. So you see you got your frequency right here, it's not the same. So you want to go to your transmitter, or not transmitter, I'm sorry, your receiver, Nano RX, General, and your RF profile, lock that at 150 Hertz. And that's all there is to it. Now we'll get on the computer and check out Betaflight. All right, so we're here in Betaflight. So let's connect the quad. And the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is navigate down to presets. And from here, you'll see all your tunes. What you're gonna to wanna to do is go to categories, select RC link. And since this is for Crossfire, we are gonna navigate down to TBS Crossfire 150 Hertz. So you're gonna to wanna to click that and you got to review the list of options just so you don't mess something up and they tell you right here dynamic crossfire 50 slash 150 hertz is not recommended locking 150 or 50 is better and i will admit having tested this out on my quad i have noticed a huge difference in the feel of the quad with the new rc link preset set on there it feels a lot more responsive it does make your rates feel a little bit different, so if you don't like the way it feels, you could always adjust your rates accordingly, so just keep that in mind. So go to options here, and you'll see you got a list of categories. You could do racing, freestyle, HD freestyle, cinematic, ultra smooth cinematic. I'm gonna be picking freestyle. You pick whatever you want, and uh, yeah. Now once you do that, you're gonna hit pick and save and reboot and you'll see it's applying the configuration and that is it and 
and if you go into your PID tuning, you'll see that it changed some settings like your feed forward, uh, jitter reduction, some other settings. But cool thing about presets is everything is all set up the way it needs to be. Um, I hope this video helped you guys out. I know I had some trouble figuring out how to lock it and I couldn't find that many videos that uh, were able to help me out. They just said, oh yeah, you navigate through Agent Light. Well, I didn't know that I had to go to Receiver that I have on the quad. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this after you try it out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.